the time and the money that she spent. It was the best thing we could have ever given to her. Just absolutely well worth it. I would do it again in a heartbeat. I would do it again in a heartbeat. It was the best thing that we could have ever given to her. It gave her her future. Katie was kind of a unique child in school. Um, when she went into first grade, um, they had kids that they pulled out for their gifted program, and she got pulled out for that. At the same time, she was being pulled out for reading help. She would read and not understand. She would not be able to pronounce words. She couldn't spell words. She couldn't spell um, thought, even if she knew how to spell bought. They pulled her out to help her with reading, but it just, it wasn't enough. She still struggled. She still was terrified of reading aloud in class because she got made fun of. It's been tremendous. Her self-confidence is huge. She wanted to come. And it, there was no homework that she had to do from here. It was two years, but it was the best time and money that we can ever give her. She has it lifelong, and it's, it will always help her and it was the best thing that we could have ever given to her. Gave her her future. She came to me in kindergarten one day and said, I wanna dance ballet. I'm like, oh, okay. She was gonna be a professional dancer. She was gonna be a professional ballerina when she grew up. Probably right after she finished the program or real close to finishing the program. Someone asked her, what are you gonna do when you are out of school? What is your dream? And um, she said, I'm gonna go to school and get my teaching degree, and I'm gonna go back and help Dana, because that's what I wanna do. I wanna help kids like me. Everyone is so nice and friendly and helpful and just will do anything for you. Just always wants to put you first. Um, it's, you're here, you're a church, but it's not like you're pushing religion on anyone. The time and the money that she spent, it was the best thing we could have ever given to her. Just absolutely well worth it. Um, it took her just less than two years, but I would, I would do it again in a heartbeat. And I can't imagine a better way to help a child who struggles with reading and spelling and um, is afraid to speak up in school and is made fun of in school for um, not being able to read aloud or to mix, because they mix up their letters. I can't think of a better gift to give that child than the system that you have given her to be able to spell and read and have self-confidence and to go out in the world and be successful. And I thank you for doing that for her. Dana is an amazing person. She's a motherly figure to me. She pretty much changed my life before I had so many issues reading and now I love reading. I can read in school and I'm confident with it. I would get called on and I'd get really nervous and I would start to cry and then I would start reading and I'd mess up and certain people would say what the word actually was and then they would be like, you just messed up, you should start over now. And they'd be like sassy about it. And I just, my heart broke every time I had to read. When I grow up, I wanna come back and help people with the Learning Center because it was such a change to me and I wanna change people's lives. Don't be scared to ask because I was scared to ask for help. I didn't wanna ask for help and I just struggled longer. And I'm not struggling anymore. Thank you for coming here and being here because without you, none of this would be here and I would still be having issues. I'd be in the 10th grade having 10 hours of dance and no time to do any schoolwork, staying up till three in the morning trying to get it done every single night.